So here we have the Mazda 3 on a 66 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. From the outside, you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels and tinted windows. We're going to start off inside the boot area of the car, first of all. As we approach the back of the car, you can see we have reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well, along with that 60 40 split folding rear seat, should you wish to increase this space even further again. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car. And as I mentioned, we'll hop in and run through just a few of the controls from there. Now that we've done a full circle though, you can see it's in lovely condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. So on the left-hand side, we have the rev counter and the total miles of the car, which is 69,380. We have the uh, speedometer in the center and over on the right hand side the fuel gauge and trip computer uh, if we back out to the steering wheel we have our stereo and phone controls on the left hand side cruise control and speed limiter over on the right hand side and then into the center the main screen for this car which as you can see includes satellite navigation uh, of course it's up here where you would pay your phone as well and where you'd listen to the radio and other forms of music but you can see here we have fm AM and DAB radio, a couple of Mazda friendly apps, we've got Bluetooth audio and two separate USB inputs. All the movement I'm making on the screen incidentally, it's being done using this dial and the collection of buttons that surround it. Uh, this car's also got a full colour reversing camera uh, to go along with the parking sensors and you can see there guidelines showing you what direction the car is headed in, in relation to the image shown on the screen. Working our way down, we have a heated driver's seat with three different heat settings and the same for the passenger side as well. We have dual zone climate control, uh, so you can adjust the passenger and driver temperature. You can increase and decrease uh, the fan speed just there. When you're happy with those settings, you can turn your air conditioning to eco, off or back on again. If you hit auto, the car will take full control of the fan speed, which you can see it doing, to maintain those temperatures for you. You can manually override that whenever you wish to. We have our CD player underneath that, and then we have the gear lever for the six-speed manual gearbox. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car for yourself and have a test drive, please feel free to give us a call here at Surrey Specialist Cars. We'd love to hear from you soon.